You know, it's really amazing the way you can get a whole herd of wild animals into a crawl made of simple plastic. Yeah, we only discovered that a few years ago. The animals see the plastic, they can't see through it, so they think it's a solid wall and they don't try to break through. Well, I must say you boys did a good job today. Just give us a little more time, Dad. We'll teach you a trick or two. <laughs> That'll be the day. You know, I can hardly wait. Just a couple more weeks and David will be out of school and we'll be a whole family again. Your mother's in for quite a surprise when she sees you two. That's for sure. Must have been a month since I washed these jeans. <laughs> Dad, you really think Mom will like it out here? Well, I hope so. Sure is a long way from Vassar. Wow, I didn't realize Africa was so big. Sure is big, all right. How can a place so beautiful be so full of trouble? All the violence and the politics. I just hope your father's aware of the situation. <laughs> but you know how he is. All he thinks about is his research. See there, ma'am? The Cosima Dam. Look, David, the dam. That's right near your father's ranch. It's 20,000 acres. As far as we can see, all part of the Mallory Research Center. Look at those herds. Those are the ones your father's working with and trying to save. Aren't they beautiful? Hey, it's all dry and dusty like a desert. Oh, not where we'll be living. There'll be green grass and trees and maybe a little stream. Oh, David, I can't wait till we get there. And look at David here. How are you doing, son? Gosh, you look as if you put on a lot of foot. You got a heavier, you think? I'm not sure. Hey, look, we want to show you around. Darling, welcome to Mallory's Ranch. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah, now that you and David are here, it's really going to be like home. I just know you're going to love it.
heartbeat's too strong anyway. Oh, just look at this poacher's snare. I wonder how many thousands of animals die every day in Africa from snares like this. You know, each one of these kinks must represent hours of suffering. The antiseptic first, Pete. If you two boys hadn't found her, she'd have died a really lingering death, huh? Okay, now some of the antibiotic cream. That's the one. And she's a pretty old girl, isn't she, Steve? Yeah. No mm. teeth. Then let's give her a few million unit injection there, penicillin. Okay. Well, I think that's about all we can do for her right now. Um, let's get her on her brisket and see if we can get these old legs underneath her. And... Come on, old girl. There we are. Let's give her a lift. Pull those legs. Get her feet first. Take it easy, girl. Take it easy. Okay. Come on, boys. Well, that's about all we can do for the old girl. Think she'll be okay? Maybe. She stands still there for a while. Maybe gets her balance back. We'll just have to wait and see. Bring the medical kit, fellas. It's time to eat. Great. I'm starved. Really? Nothing like a little hard work to build an appetite. Hey, Dave? You know, David, we could have used your help here today. Sorry, Dad. I got reading this book about printed circuits and semiconductors. You know, I could almost build a TV set if I had the parts. A lot of good to do me out here. You know, I'd rather hope that you'd have been getting the feel of this place by now. Like Pete and Steve, you mean? Well, you've got to admit, they've come a long way since they left the States. Come on, Dad. How long is it going to take you to understand? I'm not like them. I mean, just take a look at this place. There's nothing here. Oh, uh, that's where you're wrong, David. Look here. The kudu are browsing on the brush. The hemsbuck and the springbok graze on the bushman grass. And these animals get all the nutrition they need right here. 
Now just imagine, if we could establish herds of these animals in the famine belts of Africa and Asia, we may be able to solve the problem of starvation that's killing millions of children. Now, wouldn't that be worth working for? I guess so. At least for you. But not for you, are David? Come on, Dad. What do you want me to say? I love it here? Look, I'm really sorry to disappoint you, but I just wasn't cut out to be a cowboy. There sure isn't much for dinner tonight. I wonder why. I thought you were supposed to keep Yappy out of trouble. Ah, oh, it wasn't his fault. Besides, whose idea was it to have all those animals running around loose? Hey, if you haven't got enough to eat, there's something you might like. Come on, Pete, you know better than that. not easy for you, Karen. <laughs> Darn Eland. You ate your best shirt. The one I got you from Nairobi. Well, you have to admit he's got good taste. <gasps> oh, Jim. <laughs> you know, Karen, if I thought you couldn't take it, I'd give it all up. You know that. Oh, I wouldn't ask you to, Jim. I know how long you've waited to share Africa with your sons. And with you too, Karen. And you know, when this land gets to you... And it will. You'll never want to give it up. Perhaps you're right. I think I could get used to the dust and the heat and... even the animals. But that's not what's worrying me. You know the Ogamo woman? The one who lives by the stream? She says the trouble in the north is spreading. And that the insurgent tribes have wiped out whole villages. She says that it'll be spreading here. She's afraid for her family. And I'm afraid for mine. But Karen, you have to remember it's not our quarrel. Our lives and our work will go on just the same. After all, we're working for their welfare, no matter what side they're on. Mr. Mallory, radio call for you. Excuse me, dear. Don't try and make up with me, Yappy. You're a bad baboon. How many times have I told you to stay out of that kitchen? You're back on the chain. <laughs> Don't try and talk me out of it. I understand, boss. The boys and I will leave first thing in the morning. Thanks, Jamie. 
It'll be nice seeing you again and meeting your boys. Then, till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, Lars. Is it trouble? No, no, no. It's an old friend, Lars Olofsson. He's got a game ranch up in Singavi. You know, he supplies preserves and national parks with wild animals. Needs some help rounding up his stock. Doesn't he have help of his own? Well, it seems that Lars's men heard the same rumor that you did. You know, about the insurgents moving south. And they all run off into the bush. So he's decided to truck his animals across the frontier. Just to be on the safe side. I see. Karen, I, I can't turn him down. He's less than a day's drive away. We'll be back before you know it. Of course, Jim. I understand. How about the supplies? They're all set? Right, boss. I'll load it up. Come on, Pete. Let's go. Hey, Pete. Nobody asked me if I wanted to come along. Look, Dave, we're going to be working with animals. We figured you'd just as soon pass. Hey, Dad, I'd like to come, too. You sure? If you want me along. OK, son. I'll get my stuff. Well, we're on our way. You okay? I'm fine. Honestly. Look, if you're really worried, I can call Lars back. I'm okay. Well, don't forget. Save us some dinner tomorrow night. And remember, Shoma and the others will watch out for you. Mr. Mallory? Jumbo, Angela. Habari. I take greens to your missus for the pot. Well, thank you. I know she'll be grateful to have those. Tell me, how is your husband and family? My husband called north last night to fire the men with the guns. May you soon have a safe return, Angela. Safe return to you too, Mr. Mallory. There it is, boys, the new catch basin for the Casima Dam. It'll soon bring electricity to the whole area. take them some time to get here. Push, man. Push.
Hey, Mam we pay. Matu Chindi, may he Rovando Vavi. Matu Chindi, Anjenda. Dad, what was that all about? Those men are Lovale from the north. They're fleeing from the insurgents. Who are these insurgents? What do they want? Oh, the GVN, they call themselves. As far as I understand, they're a new political party bent on taking over the whole country. We won't have to leave, will we? I hope not. square miles of brush and grass and scarcely a ranch or farm in the entire area. We're going through there, Dad? Yep. Olufsen's ranch is a hundred miles dead ahead. see you, Jamie. Has been a long time. I'd like you to meet my boys, Steve, Steve, Steve. and Pete. Pete. David. How did you, sir? I've heard a lot about you, young fellows. It's good of you to come. Thank you, sir. Oh, you know my assistant, Cruz. Nice of you to help us out, Mr. Mallory. Cruz? And Candy and Mbola. Pleased to know you, Mr. Mallory. Jumbo. Jamie. These three hands are all I have left. Seventeen good men left me because of this bloody madness. I have taken all I can, Jamie. I'm sorry to hear that, Lars. Sure there's no other way? You know me, Jamie. I love Africa. I lived here for 40 years. I bred herds that could fill up the empty spaces of this famine-stricken continent. I never dreamt that one day I would have to leave it. And you just built yourself a new house. I know. What are you gonna take with you? The best of my breathing stock. Once over the border, I'll start a new life. After all, I'm still young. Okay, young man, let's get on with it. Come on, boys, we got work to do. This is it. Come on, Dave. Let's go. Give us a hand here. Here, take this. Hey, hey, man, what are you doing? Man, help. Oh, man, here, let me help you. Come here. Dave, man. Here, man, let me help you out. Help him up, Pete. That's it. That's it. No. Come Dave, on, listen, I think go you better go help Dad over there. Yeah. Dave, just go that way. What a little brat. Why does everything have to go wrong?
central government reports from Arriba that GVN insurgents have pushed into the eastern sector near Singavi. Due to the communication difficulties, no further information has reached the capital. But it is believed that casualty toll may be high. Singavi. That's right where you're headed, Lars. I know what you're thinking, Kami. But Cruz assures me the best way to get to the paved road is at Umbago. Well, he may be right, but you could run into big trouble. You know, my friend, you are worried too much about me and too little about yourself. Suppose the GVN goes for that dam near your place. Where will you be? Or your family? I appreciate your concern. But you know, it's taken me half a lifetime to get this far. I'm not going to walk away from it now. It's your decision, my friend. I hope it's the right one. Well, that's it. Lars Olofsson's Noah's Ark. Ironic, isn't it? What's left of my life is on that truck. I'm mighty grateful to you and your sons. Oh, we were glad to be a pal, Lars. I feel happy, though, if you were heading south with us. Don't worry about me, Jamie. In 24 hours' time, I'll be across the border, safe and sound. Is everything arranged? Thanks again, Jamie. Have a safe trip, Lars. Safe journey to you. Goodbye, boys. Bye-bye, Mr. Olsen. Good luck, Mr. Olsen. Mr. Olsen. Let's go, Ambula. <laughs> continue today of terrorist activity in the eastern savannah and in the past fortnight all contact with the area has been lost in the absence of reliable information it is feared that insurgent forces are preparing to launch a concerted drive towards the south Mrs. Mr. Mary calls you. Thank you, Toma. Hello, Jim. Thank goodness you called. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. We're on our way home, and with a little luck, we'll be there before dark. Thank God. I heard the radio reports. Yes, Karen, uh, I'm afraid it's a little worse than I thought. Now, that's why I want you to do exactly as I say. You know where I keep the shotgun? Yes, I see it. Well, if anything should happen, and I don't think it will, it might be a good idea to keep it handy. Wasn't it your job to fill those before we left Olufsen's? Thought you meant the drinking water. With the tank and back. We can't use that. It's all we've got left to drink. Well, we're lucky. Game department has a watering hole over here for the animals. Bring the bags, boys. Boy, Uppy, I can't seem to do anything right. Well, we lucked out again. 
place is almost dry. Head for cover. Go hide, Yaffe. I'll go help that. <laughs> Son. Yeah, Dad. Is it bad? Looks like a fracture to me. Well, that should keep it steady. Help ease the pain a little. Thanks, Dad. Radiator's busted. Oil pan's gone. We're not going anywhere in this thing. Well, I'll call Shelmer and get him to bring the truck. Now, that's not going to work either. The radio's out of commission. Then we'll have to walk it. David will never make it. We could carry him, me and Steve. No, he's got to keep that leg perfectly still. And then, as I recall, there's a chap called Villiers that's got a ranch near here. Yeah, here it is. There's a military post over here. That's right, Steve, but that's clear across the Alega Pan. Dad, you'd never make it. That's the hottest, most dangerous part of the country. I guess it's Villiers, then. Well, if I leave now, I could be there by sundown. Maybe borrow a truck from Villiers and get back here by dawn. Hey, how about this place? It's even closer than Villiers. Kisavu. That's probably an Ogamo village. And according to this, there's a clinic there. You should have a radio. We could hike there while you go to Villiers. No, you two boys have got to stay here with David. And if Villiers isn't there? Well, somebody's got to stay here. Don't worry about me, Dad. Y'all feel keep me company. There's fruit and water in the back, and the rifle's in front if you need it. You boys know the plan? Right. Back here by sundown, one way or the other. Okay. Good luck, then. And remember what I told you. The worst enemies of a man alone out here are fear and exhaustion. You keep your wits about you now. You'll come through okay. Well.
David, we'll see you tonight. So long, Dad. You know, it took a lot of courage doing what Dave did. You gotta hand it to him. Come on, Pete. The sooner we get to Cassava, the sooner we're back home. Hey, you're not scared, are you? Me scared? You gotta be kidding. Something's bothering you. I was just thinking. Here we are out here, all alone, without a gun or anything. So, what's the big deal? Nothing. Except, remember when I was a kid? I used to be afraid of lions. Yeah. I thought they lived in the cellar. Right. And everybody knows all the lions are right here. Africa. <laughs> Yappy, I'm trying to get some sleep. Would you please be quiet? For the last time, stop it! Now what are you up to? Get off that roof, Jumpy! running out of patience with you. Yapes! Yapi! Yapi! Here comes the whole family! They seem like nice, friendly lions. Yapi, think of something. The horn! That'll do it. Oh no. That's busted too. Go home. Please go home. You know, Dad's right. The thing about fear is, if you understand the ways of the bush, you won't have any trouble out here. It's as simple as that. Steve, does that include the Cape Buffalo? Just stay cool. Make them think we're in control. It's not going to be easy. Remember Dad saying that the buffalo is the most dangerous? Just keep walking. afraid of us just like dad says man is not the prey man's a predator
this works. There it is. Almost on the highway. This is where we can run into trouble. Kendi and I'll check it out and meet you up the road. Okay, but watch your step. What is it, Umbula? Fresh death in the road. Could be lame. Explosion. A landmine on the road. Mbola spotted it in time, thank God. I can see the highway from here. Get off that road and follow my track. Kendi and I'll wait for you here. Coming over this rise. Your men know what to do. Look at the binoculi. We are at war. We'll do what we must to win. been thinking. Isn't that strange that Cruz turned off the road just before we reached that landmine? Yes, boss. I've been thinking the same. I'm going to find Cruz. You wait here. 
And if there is any sign of trouble, you drive away as fast as you can. And don't slow down until you are across the border. But boss, if you are right about Cruz, then he will kill you. All I am concerned about now is my animals. Mbula, you are my good friend. You are in charge now. I'm sorry for what my people do. And my people too. Strange man. Give up his life for his enemies. I kept my part of the bargain. Now you keep yours. You will have Olsen's range just agreed. But first, these supplies must be delivered to the south. I'll see to that. We'll see to the rest. Pretty here, Mrs. Like your home. Thank you, Ngila. See these flowers? We have flowers like this in England and America. Around my house, we used to have green grass and big trees. It must be much beauty there. Very much. Not like here. This war. The killing. The killing will end, Ngila. I hope.
rats. The world is full of them. Come on, Pete. Steve, are you sure this is the way we came? Sure. Remember those hills over there? No, Steve, I don't remember those hills over there. Come on. Steve, I know we never crossed any water. One thing for sure. The stream's got to lead us to the river. So, you plan on swimming home? Pete, how many rivers are there in this part of the country? Oh, you think this will lead us to the Vinga? That's right, and we follow the river. There's gotta be villages nearby. You gotta be kidding. Well, we could call a water taxi. It's not a water taxi, but it's next best thing. Wait a minute. First, we gotta get to a radio. There's a boat here. It's gotta be a village close by. Come on. GVN. I wonder what happened to Olufsen. I don't know. Come on, let's get back to that boat. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
speed, man. Let's move. this thing all the way home. Okay, Skipper, what's the plan now? Same as before. Follow the river. We'll never make it through that jungle on foot. If you got a better suggestion, I'm willing to listen. <laughs> First thing I have to do is Check the valve. Looks okay. What's the matter, Yappy? Afraid of the dark, huh? Well, remember, the worst enemies of a baboon out here are fear and exhaustion. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll come out okay. Right, Yappy? <laughs> <laughs> Choma, what makes that awful sound? Hyenas, missus. 
They have found a kill. Mm. I wish they'd stop. Mustn't worry, missus. I'm sure your family will come soon. They should have been here by now. My whole family, everything I care about is out there somewhere. Okay, come on. Just try and get me. I don't know why, but they no answer. Please keep on trying. Yes, missus. And missus, you should get some sleep. Thank you, Choma. Oh no! Last of our water. Boy, are they gonna give it to me when they get back? <laughs> oh yuppie. <laughs> Choma, 
Something must have happened, otherwise he would have called. Isn't there something we can do? The police. Can't we call the police? No, Mrs. There is no police. This part of the country, there is nothing. The Casima Dam. There must be someone there, someone with a radio. No, Mrs. At the dams, there's no one. Choma call, but no answer. Thank you, Choma. Yeah. Catch any game with that leg. Okay, friend, you've got no choice. reasons for getting out of here alive. Now watch it. Them's explosive. 
keep telling you it's explosive. Plowshare to Zebra, come in. Plowshare to Zebra, come in. Report in progress, Plowshare. Supplies will be loaded within an hour and ready to roll. Stand by until we contact you, Plowshare. Present plan is to rendezvous at Mallory Camp. From there, we'll move on to the dam. Message received. Out. All right, keep it moving. Our step lives in. Don't stack it any higher than that. Choma. Let's hope this works, Happy. It's working, Happy. It's working. Rover 1 to Mallory Camp. Rover 1 to Mallory Camp. Do you read me, Mallory Camp? Come in, Mallory Camp. Do you read me, Mallory Camp? David! David, this is Mother. Come in, please. Hi, Mom. I've never been too worried, but we had an accident with a... David? David, come in, please. Mallory Camp, come in. David! Come in, Mallory Camp. No use. She's not answering. Guns. And now they come here. People at camp all run away. 
They say murderers kill us all. No, they won't, Ngila. You come with me. Thank you. not go far. Let's hope it goes far enough. Ah, yeah, be. Ah. Well, ah. here goes nothing. Don't shoot, Mrs. It's me, Choma. Where are the others? The others, Mrs. They've been afraid and ran away. When I find out, I go after them. I look everywhere, but find no one. No one now here but me. Now, Mrs., the bad men come. I could see them by the river. All right, Choma. We'll be ready for them. Reach the bomber. You must run.
Steve. This is the place we came by three days ago on the way to Olufsen's. Yep, we're almost home. Let's go home, man. Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
might have got away. Ready for another one? Yep. You know, we'll have this place looking like new in no time. Yeah, shouldn't take us long to round up all the animals. Hear that, Yaffe? We're back in business. All of us, together. You know, I can't remember when I last saw the boys look so happy. They're no longer boys, Jim. They're men. I feel very proud of our sons. And I'm especially proud of you. You know, I can't promise, Karen, that things are going to get any easier from now on. It's still time to change your mind. My mind's made up, Jim. We've been through much too much to lose all this. I want to be a part of it. And most of all, I want to share it with you. Jim! <laughs> 